Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, this is all the playbook. Bring you an NFL matchup in the AFC West between the Denver Broncos and the San Diego Chargers. Now let's start with the Broncos offensively. What worked last week and the reason why you were able to effectively blow out the Chiefs? Balance. You guys have some talented playmakers on offense. You know you have the talent at the wide receiver spot, but look at the running back spot. You guys have to get committed to the run. You see what happens when you're able to run the football? That passing game is a lot sweeter. So you have to get No Show Marino in a groove early. Get that get running downhill, especially against this team, a team like the Chargers that just want to fly up the field, meet them at the point of attack, run downhill. A lot of inside zones should work this week, especially against the 3-4 defense. There's natural bubbles in that 3-4. So you want to make sure you get that running game going and that way you're going to have the effective effectiveness in the passing game to pick your poison and go wherever you want to go on the field. Now you look at your defense coming to this game. Phillip Rivers is a guy that's a stationary target in the pocket, so you can turn up the pressure this week. I have faith in your corners to stay on the inside of these talented, huge wide receivers of the San Diego Chargers. That's one thing they want to do. They just want to play up top. They want to play above the rim. You guys at, at the cornerback spot, Bailey and company, have to be ready to play above the rim with these guys. So stay on the inside the inside position of the wide receivers, and that's gonna give yourself a shot to win these jump ball passes that Phillip Rivers loves to throw. And you also wanna make sure you locate Antonio Gates wherever he's located on the field, if he's gonna be out there, you have to find him. That's the security blanket. That's what the offense is gonna run through. And these other wide receivers are just living in Antonio Gates' world. So you have to take away Gates, take away that number one target, and therefore you effectively are able to play coverage on the rest of these wide receivers. Now you look at the Chargers coming to this game. One thing that's important about what San Diego is gonna do coming off a of bye week, the Chargers have the ability to run the football, they just choose not to. So one thing that's important, you have the same keys to victory as the Denver Broncos. You have to get balanced. You have to make the Broncos respect the running, the running game. If you allow the Denver Broncos to come in and just tee off on the quarterback, they can get the pressure on you. They have a lot of speed on defense. They have the athleticism in the secondary to pick off passes. So you have to make sure you keep these guys up front, running the football, keep, Keep that balance. Don't allow yourself to throw the football 40 times a game. Now, you look at another aspect of that offense. One thing you can do, you can work these intermediate pass routes against the Chargers, against the Broncos. You guys have the height. You guys have the athleticism to attack the middle of the field against that 3-4. And that's where you're going to have that, those voids across the middle in between the linebackers and the safeties. So attack the middle void of that defense of the Denver Broncos. But take your time, intermediate, short to intermediate. Don't press to hit the big play deep down the field. Now defensively, what you have to do, you guys have to make sure you get pressure on Orton. If Orton is given time in the pocket, you can see what he can do to a secondary. He can light it up like Christmas. So you have to get pressure on Orton and you have to make these guys one dimensional. Don't allow no Sean Moreno to get going. Force these guys into third long situations and therefore you're able to pin your ears back and get pressure. You guys do a great job of getting pressure on opposing quarterbacks, but it's more important so this week because the Broncos offensive line is more geared toward pass protection as opposed to running. So their strong point is protecting the passer, but you have to make sure you get pressure on Orton and force Orton to make these short throws. That way you have the coverage up front to make tackles with your defensive linebackers and uh, safeties that are coming into the box to make those extra tackles to make the guys, those intermediate and short, those short intermediate routes less effective. <clears throat> I'm going with San Diego in this game. Two things I like about Denver though, Denver is a team that has talent. If they can just stay committed to the run, they can effectively neutralize this game. But playing on the road, playing at, at San Diego, San Diego had two weeks to prepare for this matchup. I think the Chargers are going to come in with a little bit more balanced attack and defensively they're going to be fresh, they're going to get after Orton. That's going to be the key to the game, how well they get pressure on Kyle Orton. I think they'll be able to do so at home. For more NFL previews, visit footballgameplan.com NFL or visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash football game plan.